When I got my first dog, I thought that squeezing out their anal glands was part of my job. I'd squish out that disgusting smelling stuff anytime my dog scooted on the carpet, and that was a lot. But I only had to make one simple change, and 25 years and a dozen dogs later, I've never had to touch another anal gland. Let me show you how the right foods are really all that you need to keep your dog's anal glands clean and healthy. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. Anal glands are little sacs near the bum hole that contain oil and sweat glands, and that's what gives them the contents that extra special skunky smell. Now, in the wild, that smelly goo helps dogs mark their territory a lot better than urine marking. They can actually pinch some of the stuff off when, when they want to, and if the content in those sacks is liquid enough, then your dog's gonna do just fine and it'll keep pinching that stuff out. But that's estimated that 12% of dogs develop anal gland issues at some point in their life, and that's a lot. Now, your vet might tell you that diet has like not a lot to do with anal gland health, but this just isn't true. In the wild, the dog's high-protein diet with natural calcium sources like bone gives him a firmer, harder stool. Hard stools put pressure on the anal glands and helps express them as your dog goes poo. But dogs that eat kibble and processed foods have a lot runnier poo than they should. You've seen them. Your poop doesn't look like dog poo. It's a lot firmer, or at least it should be. If it's not, then you're eating way too much processed food too. Now, this runny poo problem has haunted kibble makers for decades. They know that runny poops can cause anal gland impactions because runny poops don't exert pressure on the sacs and help express them. So what they do is they add something called bulk to kibble, which is insoluble fiber that literally bulks up the stools. Insoluble means that your dog can't digest it, so it's really only there to firm up the stools. But the problem is, if they add too much, then it can bind to minerals, which can harm the dogs eating it. Now, since I started feeding my dogs a raw diet over 25 years ago, I've never had another anal gland issue. Mother Nature takes care of her animals, and if you feed them what they're supposed to eat, then the anal glands will function just fine. But what if you can't afford to feed your dog a raw diet? I get it, you're feeding kibble. So how can you keep the poop shoe clean if your dog eats kibble or other commercial foods? Well, the first thing you can do is just give your dog a bone. When dogs gnaw on bones, then the calcium and other minerals give the stool a lot of bulk and the poo is often hard and it's a bit hard for your dog to pinch it out. This is what keeps the pipes of raw fed dogs humming. So. Honestly, just ask your butcher for a bone for your dog once a week or so, and this will really, really help. However, it shouldn't be marrow bones. Marrow is just fat, and it could make your dog's stools even runnier if he's not used to it. So just try to find flat bones like beef neck bones, beef ribs, or hip bones, and avoid a lot of marrow. Now, the second thing to do is work on your dog's allergies. A major cause of impacted anal glands is allergies and food sensitivities. And this means you need to work on your dog's gut health with probiotics, and I hate to say it, a good raw diet works well because carbohydrates will cause unwanted changes in the gut that can cause food sensitivities in the leaky gut. Now third, you should really stop manually expressing the glands yourself and ask your groomer to stop too because they'll often just go ahead and do it. All of that repeated squeezing and pinching can irritate the sacs and cause inflammation. And if that happens, your dog's gonna have a serious problem. Inflamed anal glands don't drain well and you could be setting your dog up for chronic issues and even surgery to remove the glands because they're just too inflamed and scarred to work. Now fourth, keep your dog trim and slim. Dogs who are overweight are at a higher risk for anal gland problems. Now, this could be because dogs that eat a lot of starch are more likely to be overweight and have metabolic disease. 
but it just could simply be that your dog is too fat to reach around and lick her glands clean. Nobody really knows, but there is a link. And there's a lot of other health reasons to keep your dog's weight reasonable anyway. And finally, you can try to add a bit more fiber to your dog's diet. You can add about two tablespoons of psyllium husks to a cup of bone broth and just mix them until it looks like a jelly. Now, give this to your dog apart from her meals for just a few days and it should help clean out the pipes. And I'll give you the amount in the description below. So, anal gland problems can be a pain in the butt for both you and your dog, but they don't have to be. Just feed the right foods that Mother Nature made for your dog to eat and you'll do a great job of cleaning up the anal sacs without having to squeeze it out. Now, don't forget to leave your comments or questions below because I love to hear your thoughts and experiences. And check out the descriptions for links and resources. And if you like this video, please make sure you like it, share it, and tell people about it. Thanks for watching.